community residents, students, teachers, faculty, and staff celebrated the opening of two new elementary schools in Itasca County on both Monday and Tuesday with ribbon-cutting ceremonies. Reporter Destiny Wiggins has more on the new schools and how the district is preparing to open up for the fall school year. Hallways filled with unpacked boxes, teachers decorating their rooms, and last-minute final touches, Grand Rapids School District staff are preparing to welcome students back for the upcoming school year with two new elementary school buildings. I can't tell you how much excitement I have personally for the opening of this school. I know it's been a long time coming. I started here, uh, this is my fourth year, and ever since I started here, there was talk about new schools coming to Grand Rapids, and it started out as a plan on paper, and now it's, now it's true. It's, it's here, the buildings are here, the teachers are working hard, everybody's working hard to put a plan in place um, for our kids and for our families. With the community's help in supporting a referendum that was passed in 2018, where the community saw a need for the two new elementary buildings. The community was also involved during the school's design process, naming of the schools, as well as hiring local contractors. And what I keep hearing and have been able to highlight is just how flexible the spaces are to use, that there's more openness to the building. The buildings are very, very secure, um, both from a, from a visitor entrance standpoint, but also during the day they're very secure. And um, they're designed with the needs of how students learn and how we need to teach today in mind. And so they're designed for today's students, they're designed for today's teaching, and that's just going to be a great opportunity for those kids. As of right now in Itasca County, COVID-19 numbers are low enough to welcome all students back for in-person learning, which is what teachers are planning for come September 8th, the first day of school for the district. Coming school year, school year, we'll probably have some different challenges that we haven't seen in years past. I've heard a lot of other teachers who have been teaching a long time say that we're all kind of first year teachers this year. I'm super blessed to be in a brand new like school. I uh, get a brand new classroom, all new supplies. Uh, in years past, students haven't had art in the elementary level, so art is completely new to the K through five program, and they're all going to be like super excited to come in and make some cool stuff and. Just like to be able to teach in like a new space is really fun, exciting. In addition to the two new elementary schools, major renovations are being done at Cohasset Elementary, which was built in 1922. Between the construction of all three buildings, the total came out to a little under $80 million. It doesn't, doesn't matter what role you play uh, as a superintendent. I get excited about the beginning of school. We're in this, in this vocation because we love children and we want to make a difference for children. And so even though the last couple months has been very, very hard and a lot of planning has gone on, we can't wait to see the kids. And it's one of my most favorite days of the year to see a building full of children. And even though I might not be able to see the smiles on their faces, um, we know they're there. And they're excited to see their teachers too. And the teachers are, going, are really excited to see them. With the increased amount of elementary enrollment within the district, the completion of these new buildings is an exciting time for those in the area. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Destiny Wiggins, Lakeland News. Students and staff will also be required to wear face coverings in the district school buildings and on school buses as well. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.